warm welcome to one and all. My dear friends, today on the solemnity of Annunciation, we the Sisters of Handmaids of Christ joyfully celebrate our Congregation Feast. On this very occasion, we are much delighted to present to you a nativity scene. We begin with a short message from our Superior General, Sister Faria Barretu. Stay tuned to it. Warm greetings to all of you, my dear friends. Today, the Universal Church commemorates the solemnity of the Annunciation. The angel greeted Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, and announced that she would be the mother of the Savior, who would save the humankind from sin and death and establish peace. This feast reminds us of the Virgin Mary's consent, a yes to God and promises to commit our own lives to the best plan God has for us. We, the sisters of Handmaids of Christ, are much delighted to celebrate the feast of our congregation, specifically on this solemnity of Annunciation. We thank God for the blessings He bestowed upon our congregation and upon each one of us. Inspired by Mary's fear, we remain open to the outpouring of God's eternal grace upon us and dare to say continuous yes to God's call, navigating into the unknown with the residue faith of our holy founder, Monsignor Herculano Gonzalez, in order to face our daily struggles and challenges with a ray of hope to respond unwaveringly to the signs of the times. We need to find the rhythm that enables us to lean on God and find our strength in Him. If we lean deeper into God's love, choosing faith instead of fear, we find that new opportunities emerge. We are people of hope. The light of Jesus illuminates us and the discerning voice of the Holy Spirit empowers us as we all journey together in communion with each other. It is time we just surrender everything in the hands of God. Let us declutter our hearts from aches, hurts and negativity in order to fully appreciate the living presence of God letting him to stay with us and allow his light to shine steadily in us. May Mother Mary continuously bless us and may our Holy Founder keep inspiring us. A very happy feast to you all.
Angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a beautiful looking virgin whose name was Mary when she heard the voice she was troubled she said to herself what message it can be upon you and the baby would be born will be called a son of God your cousin Elizabeth is also expecting a child in her old age and she is in her sixth month because nothing is impossible with God behold the handmaid of the Lord be it unto me according to thy word 